Now the last thing you're going to do is to finish it off is you're literally going to use the finish. I use the tester spray lacquer. It's a clear coat so that it goes on very clear as opposed to they have some gloss coats and things like that. I'm not sure which ones would look nicer but I've always just used the clear coat myself. I also don't know if this is the best to use. The best kind of clear coat lacquer that you could use or finish that you could use. And you literally shake it up, you do the same thing as you did with the uh, primer. You just spray it. There you go. Once again, you want to take a part that you haven't sprayed, or at least a part that's non consequential to get your finger rinse on to turn it around. Alright, and that's one layer. We're going to do two possibly three layers. That's at least what I do. I think it makes it look nicer, but that's just me personally. Uh, I'm not sure if it actually does, is a good idea or not. That's just what I do. But we gotta wait for it to dry and then do the other layers. Alright, the first layer is pretty much dry. So we're gonna do the second layer. Now that the clear coat is dry, this is the finished product, what we went through. I think it came out pretty well. I'm not super awesome like everybody else is online and everything where they have like special equipment like goggles that magnify everything. They have like super small paint brushes. They can get, get like the most complicated details and all sorts of different things like that. But this is just what I can do and this also was quite a bit more difficult because of the fact that I had to work literally over a camera. Don't, don't judge me too harshly on that. This was a bit more difficult than it normally would be because of the camera and everything. Other than that, just have fun with your new miniatures. I think that's pretty much it.